Hello and welcome to another video. I'm Lauren and today I'm going to be creating an art journal spread inspired by the ocean. If you are interested, I have a bunch of pictures such as this one listed down below for sale. The shop links are there, so have a look at those. So let's get into today's art project. I'm going to be using Sharpie markers. I also have some Tombow markers and I have a bunch of different black markers as well as a white pen and a pencil and then I have a bunch of different um, random kind of markers just to sort of fill in because this page I'm doing it on is quite big so <laughs> these ones are great for just coloring really big spaces in kind of all the sea and ocean colors lots of blues and grays and the topic of today is going to be the magical narwhals of the ocean the unicorns of the sea these extremely amazing crazy to actually believe that these are real but they are <laughs> and they are a really really cool animal that i've always been kind of really interested in I actually wanted to be a marine biologist when I was a kid. I think this was a phase that I was going through, but today I'm going to be living out those marine biologist <laughs> dreams of mine and focusing on this amazing creature called the narwhal. To start off, I'm going to create some lettering. So I decided I would do this kind of bubble letter, kind of thinking of like the bubbles in the ocean. And so I'm making really rounded edges and it's going to say the ocean is home to the narwhal. Where I grew up as a kid, it was in South Africa and it was quite far from the ocean. It was more in a inland city and the ocean, we had to travel to get there. And the trip was, um, well, probably either like six hours away if you wanted to go to the closest um, ocean or if you wanted to go to um, down, down, down to the other side of South Africa. It's about a 14 hour drive. So trips to the ocean were always like a really, really special time because it was something that I like was kind of foreign to me. So maybe that's why I wanted to be a marine biologist was I was so drawn to know more about the ocean and all the incredible little creatures that live inside this huge, huge mass of water that makes up the majority of our planet. For the next part of the art journal page, I decided to turn the lettering because it was kind of weirdly shaped. Um, I guess I didn't really space out my text super great, but I decided I would turn the text into a narwhal. And the narwhals have these really, really interesting um, horns, but it's actually not a horn. It's actually a tooth that comes out of the their like mouth area and um so i added that in and it's got this like big spiral on it so <laughs> it's quite fun to draw actually <laughs> the tusk or tooth or <laughs> horn <laughs> definitely not a horn but the tooth that protrudes from the mouth of the narwhal is uh, there's actually a lot of like uh, mystery around it people uh, don't really know specifically why these narwhals have this tooth that is so strangely shaped and that makes them look like they are sort of like a little bit like a unicorn. They are trying to um, do more research into why these narwhals have this horn and what they actually use it for and what's the relevance of it. In terms of the symbolism of the um, narwhal, it is said that this um, this 
task or two <laughs> is almost like a, um, a little bit like a radar um, that connects this animal to the universe and there's actually a lot of um, photographs that have captured um, narwhals kind of with their tooth facing up towards the sky and it's kind of interesting like <laughs> if this really does have any relevance um, but it I mean who knows <laughs> they are a very magical mysterious creature so maybe there is some connection um, between this animal and kind of everything else in um, that's around us you know So then for this part of the art journal, I started to color in the letters using um, some Sharpie markers in different colors and sort of using a darker color on the outside and some lighter tones on the inside of the letters. So I really wanted to kind of create that bubble look that I was talking about in the beginning. And um, yeah, that's kind of how it went. Sadly, the uh, population of narwhals in the world is actually already really, really small. I was reading some articles by National Geographic. Um, they have some really, really nice detailed information. Um, if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about the narwhal and this group of creatures, uh, definitely check out um, anything that the National Geographic has posted about it because <laughs> they are a really kind of near threatened creature and um, with all the climate change around the world um, and the temperatures rising, the ice that these animals like to live around because they mostly live in the Arctic area and interestingly um, they are known to like only really be part of that area um, whereas other sea creatures are found all over the rest of the ocean whereas this particular animal kind of stays in that one area so that's kind of interesting i think they they really like that there's a lot of ice around there and um yeah i guess that also the ocean is really deep in those areas and that's something that they seem to enjoy is to really really go very very deep to get their food and resources um yeah, so that's kind of scary. The narwhal, this little magical, <laughs> amazing, interesting, special and unique creature is kind of, um, there's not many of them left in the world. For the next part of the art journal, I decided I would draw a bunch of narwhals um, kind of looking up towards the sky because this whole idea of them being connected to the universe um, was really interesting to me. So I decided I would draw that and it's always just really fun to draw their horns. So <laughs> just a lot of um, horns, horns, I keep saying horns, it's not a horn, it is a tooth. Their teeth are really fun to draw. <laughs> and um, interestingly, actually the males are usually the ones that have the teeth and the females tend to not really have the teeth. So um, I also drew some that did not have the teeth. And I decided I would draw them kind of looking up at the sky and then with a bunch of icebergs in the background. I used to think that 
Dolphins were my favorite ocean creature. Um, dolphins are amazing. <laughs> and so are whales <laughs> and octopuses and everything else that lives in the ocean. Really, really amazing. But I must say that novels just have this like kind of really interesting quality to them that um, kind of makes me want to put them at the top of my like favorite animals of the ocean list. I wanted to know from you guys, um, comment down below what are some of your um, favorite animals that live in the ocean. Um, I'm really interested to know, I mean, maybe you like starfish, maybe you like um, oh, there's so so many different kinds of uh, creatures in the ocean there's even some really interesting deep sea creatures that are so strange looking that it's actually unbelievable that they are, like are really there <laughs> that they really exist um, I've seen some videos about different types of deep sea creatures and wow <laughs> They are very, very bizarre and very, very strange, kind of like alien looking. Um, it even brings me back to jellyfish, like jellyfish are also a very um, alien-like kind of um, ocean creature. Um, but yeah, so what is your favorite sea creature? I'm really interested to know. For the color part of this drawing, I decided to do a little bit of a darker blue, firstly kind of outlining all the icebergs, and then I take a slightly lighter color to do the inside part of the drawing and give it that sort of um, like glow that icebergs have. Um, <laughs> this art journal pages uh they are going to be turning out really really colorful you'll see in the end they are very very colorful um but this is kind of how the color was starting to go on the picture and then i started coloring in the narwhals and i really really is enjoying doing all the spots <laughs> This is probably my favorite part about doing this drawing was doing these little dots on the novel. Um, any kind of like dotting technique is actually quite fun to do. <laughs> so yeah, this part I was dotting away and <laughs> creating that sort of pattern that is on the back of the novel. One of the reasons that I didn't really go full time into pursuing being a marine biologist is that I'm actually quite scared of swimming in the deep, deep ocean. I have done it a few times um, with some friends. The one time we were out somewhere by Mozambique and this was a really, really cool opportunity to go out on a boat and like go and see what we could see we did we weren't diving but we were just snorkeling and um, we drove out really far into the ocean and we got the chance to um, you know dive off the boat and see what we could see and oh my goodness when you are in that water and you can't see the bottom I don't know if anyone else feels this way but I always get a little bit terrified <laughs> when I'm in such a huge mass of space and I, I have no idea where the bottom is like no idea but we even though I was so scared when all of this was happening we had the coolest experience 
um, this huge whale shark, because that area is going to have whale sharks, literally drifted below us out of nowhere because when you look down when you're like diving down or like snorkeling down and you look around you it is just hazy it's completely hazy and you can't make like head from toe kind of what's around you and out of nowhere this beautiful huge whale shark and whale sharks are obviously not dangerous they're um that creature that um they're really really big like they're huge when you see it especially up close like that it's like oh my goodness it just came out of nowhere um but they yeah they don't eat um you know they're not um anything to be scared of and <laughs> the sheer size of it maybe is something to be scared of but um it just drifted out below us and like you know it was it was not there one minute and then the next minute it was there and it was just the most amazing, amazing experience. So that really did change my mind about um, kind of like, wow, <laughs> maybe I should have gone into marine biology. Um, but I guess being a little bit scared of the ocean, um, just the kind of depths of it um, <laughs> definitely held me back on, on that. But that was such a cool experience and um, amazing, amazing experience to see that whale shark like, like it's literally one of the best experiences I've ever had in the ocean <laughs> so for the last part of doing the color I took um, some Posca markers and I decided to add um, a little bit of a shadow next to each of the narwhals and also on the icebergs do a bit of a shadow just to make everything kind of like stand out a little bit more because of all the color on the page i also took a white poster marker and outlined this big narwhal um, so that he was or he, yeah he was a little because <laughs> he's got a tooth that he was a little bit um, more visible on the page Next up, I took some white acrylic paint and I used that to create some um, splashes of foam on and around the narwhals. I also lightened some of the ice a little bit more and used the white to create some bubbles in the water because what would the ocean be without a couple of little bubbles? <laughs> I also added some little silhouettes of fishies and this was kind of pretty much it except that i wanted to add a little tiny bit more of magic onto these art journal pages so i took a yellow postcard marker and just did a bunch of little dots around and that was my little tribute to the magic aspect of the amazing narwhal <laughs> and this is the final art journal pages i am so glad that you joined me here today i hope you enjoyed this video maybe that you learned a little bit more about the incredible narwhal and thank you so much for watching i will see you again soon for another video